we have a news alert, all new at 5, about a story we've been following for you all day. Yeah, three girls are now facing charges after chaos it erupted during a high school basketball game last night. And our Derek Waller is live on 5 outside the Akron Police Department. And Derek, that fight was all caught on camera. Yes, several cameras and now Akron police are looking at school surveillance video. That is video we will not be able to see. However, several people had their phones out and posted those videos on social media. Seconds after the Kenmore High Cardinals defeat the North High Vikings. <laughs> Mayhem. Girls held back as administrators and police get involved, but the fight just gets bigger. Within seconds, the court is filled with people duking it out. The crowd egging them on. We don't teach that here. Kenmore coach Yantami Jones told me a girl from the opposing team first went on the attack. I saw her push my, my 4.5 um, student, they could attend Akron U, in the face with both of her hands. Now Akron police have charged that North High School student who started the fight with assault and two counts of rioting. And two other girls, one from North, the other from Kenmore, are also being charged with rioting. Captain Daniel Zampelli explained why earlier today. But if there's four or more people in a, in a fight, it's a riot. And if there's serious injuries, it's an aggravated riot. That's a felony. Now Coach Jones is trying to focus on the positive, her team's winning record. My team has been worked hard this year. I'm so proud of the girls. Um, they do anything I ask. And Coach Jones there actually got hit in the face herself, but she obviously, as you saw, is okay. Now, police had to break up that fight with pepper spray, and tonight they tell me there could be more charges coming. Live in Akron, Derek Waller, News Channel 5.